given the magnitude and variety of challenges the world continues to confront, a more fit for purpose United Nations is urgently needed, one that possesses the legitimacy and efficacy in dealing with threats to international peace and security. A just and inclusive world order cannot be spearheaded by a United Nations Security Council that persistently and unjustly fails the inclusivity criterion. Similarly, threats to democracy will not be credibly resolved by an undemocratic, unrepresentative Security Council. It is vitally important for this critical institution to reflect the values it is entrusted to protect, to defend, to uphold on behalf of humankind. Whenever human life, security and welfare is in jeopardy, it is immoral to administer interventions through frameworks that are anchored on fundamental inequality. We are all witnesses to admirable demonstrations of effective solidarity in response to crises in various parts of the world. From genocides and civil conflict to famine and pandemics, the African continent is consistently left behind to bear the brunt of weak solidarity and disastrous failure of multilateralism. History indicates the last time Africa was the focal point of strong and effective multilateralism and multilateral consensus was during the Berlin Conference of 1884-1885. And the character of the ensuing interventions casts a long shadow to date. Not to put too fine a point to it, the failure of multilateralism during crises which relocate the people of Africa outside the cycle of moral consideration and normalizes humanitarian neglect and other casual injustices are failures of humanity. Nothing about Africa, and I say nothing about Africa or its people makes it acceptable for this type of failure to persist in this era. And we have an urgent moral duty to better, to do better, and to right this wrong. Kenya joins the Secretary General in calling for the strengthening of multilateralism as the only sustainable path to a peaceful, stable, and prosperous world for all. This is the imperative of our time and the call of this moment. It is time to work on the trust deficit with stronger conviction that none of us is really safe until all of us are safe. The theme of the 77th session, and I quote, a watershed moment, transformative solutions to interlocking challenges, end of quote, demands that we recognize the crisis we must confront are interlinked in a complicated way. They can only be effectively addressed through more imaginative strategies and innovative formula. A population of 8 billion people in a densely networked world increasingly looks up to the multilateral system as the anchor for their individual aspirations directly and indirectly through robust national frameworks. Increasingly, therefore, the United Nations system is expected to be responsive to these needs and for the proceedings in this forum, in a forum like this, to speak to ordinary people in far-flung reaches of our incredibly diverse globe. It is impossible to address all their individual needs directly, but it is possible to respond to all of them by speaking with conviction to the universal values of equality, inclusion, justice, solidarity, and collective action, and by making sure that all our interventions effectively reflect them with clarity. The integrity of the international order must be measured by the distance separating our resolutions, consensus, and agreement from decisions, actions, committed interventions, and effective solutions. A watershed moment, therefore, demands 
that we reduce that gap drastically and quickly. Kenya pursues numerous essential domestic agenda through the multilateral framework. We are heavily invested in the strength, effectiveness, and eventual success of all in interventions formulated by the United Nations. It is important that the output of this and other similar fora achieve immediate resonance in the minds and lives of our youth still seeking opportunity to express and actualize themselves, our farmers working to feed nations, our Juakali entrepreneurs striving in pursuit of success in the informal economy, and our professionals who formulate policy, implement strategy, and monitor service delivery in public and private sectors. Africa places immense value in the international community and the tremendous possibilities it can unlock through inclusive, sustainable, and effective action to transform the lives of our people and establish lasting peace, security, and shared prosperity. This watershed moment is our chance to turn the key and open this door of opportunity. We can make progress in addressing the triple global threats and liberate ourselves from the shame of past failures of multilateralism. At this watershed moment, we must not only choose, but also act decisively to bequeath our children and their children a greener, safer, healthier, and more abundant earth. Let us do it together, inclusively, multilaterally.